This week's constellations are Boötes, Corona Borealis, and Hercules. We'll start with a shot of the sky that contains all three constellations. This is the part of the sky where Boötes is. Boötes is pronounced in three syllables, so it's Boötes. Here's the asterism we use for this constellation. It looks like a dented kite or a dented ice cream cone. The brightest star in Boötes is Arcturus, here at the bottom of the ice cream cone. Arcturus is the fourth brightest star in the night sky and the brightest star north of the celestial equator. It's about 37 light years away and its surface temperature is about 4300 Kelvin, which is about the same as the temperature of a sunspot on our sun. An interesting thing about Arcturus is that it was used for navigation by Polynesians in their sailing trips to Hawaii. The declination of Arcturus is about the same as the latitude of the Big Island of Hawaii. In practical terms for navigation, that means that if you're at the latitude of Hawaii, Arcturus will be directly overhead at its high point in the sky. So the Polynesians would sail north until Arcturus was directly over a, overhead, then head due west or east to reach Hawaii. Next door to Boötes is the constellation of Corona Borealis. This is a fairly small constellation. Most people don't associate the shape of the asterism with a crown, so imagine a bowl for cereal if you'd like. Now we'll move to the left again for the third constellation for this week, Hercules. Our asterism for Hercules is within this ellipse. If you skip the triangular part at the bottom, the figure looks a bit like a bow tie, and that's what I usually try to spot in the sky. There are two stars in Hercules to learn to identify. The first is Corneferus, a star about 140 light years away. It has a visual magnitude of 2.8, so it's not particularly bright. Corneferus is part of a binary star system, and the primary star is about three times the sun's mass. The smaller star can't be seen with amateur telescopes. The other star to learn in Hercules is Rosalgethe. There at the point. One of the larger asterisms for Hercules shows a kneeling figure, and when that's the case, Rosalgethe is the head. The word Rosalgethe means the head of the kneeler. The star is also part of a multi-star system, and the largest star is bigger than the orbit of Mars. The large star is coupled together with a closely spaced binary star system, so altogether it's a three-star system. This is a view of this part of the sky taken from Hawaii, where these constellations are nearly overhead on a summer evening. The picture was taken from a National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration weather station on the Mauna Loa volcano, and the green laser is used to measure particulate matter in the atmosphere. Can you spot the asterism for Corona Borealis in the oval? Since you know where Corona Borealis is, can you spot Hercules? It's going to be within this oval. So there's Hercules. The bow tie part is upside down in this picture. Now I'll show you a trick for finding Arcturus. Spot anything familiar in this picture? How about in the upper right hand corner? Most people can spot Ursa Major or the Big Dipper. 
Besides using it to find Polaris, you can also use it to find Arcturus. Here's how. Follow the bend of the handle of the Big Dipper and arc to Arcturus. There's Arcturus right down there. Arcturus is actually quite a bright star, so if you just arc to the brightest thing in that area, you should find it. If you can find Arcturus, you found Bootes. And if you can find Bootes, you can find Corona Borealis right next door. So by finding Ursa Major, you can find these two constellations. Hercules is also right next to Corona Borealis, but it doesn't show here. It will show on the next picture, though. This one doesn't have quite all of Bootes in it, though, so it may be hard to recognize. Especially since it's missing Arcturus. To the left of Bootes is Corona Borealis. Now that we have Bootes and Corona Borealis, we should be able to find a Hercules. Can you spot it? Now another nearby constellation, not one of this week's, is Lyra, the harp. This includes the bright star Vega. This star name is pronounced either Vega or Vega, according to my dictionary anyway, so take your pick. And again, the two stars in Hercules that we want to note how to identify are Corneferous and Rosalgethi. Now let's have a look at some deep sky objects in this part of the sky, things that can't be seen with the naked eye, or at least not easily seen. See anything you recognize here? Here's Bootes. Within this constellation is the object NGC 5466. Clever name. NGC just means New General Catalog. It's a listing of astronomical objects. And NGC 5466 happens to be a globular cluster. These are approximately spherical groups of stars, and this particular one is about 52,000 light years away. So if you look at this through a telescope, you're seeing fairly old light. It is possibly visible in binoculars, although probably not small ones. You might need somewhat larger ones to catch these. Back to a constellation view now. Hercules is approximately centered in this picture. Can you spot it? It's right there. One of the most popular objects in the summer sky for amateur stargazers is Messier Object 13, which is right there in Hercules. Fairly easy to find. At any star party with more than a few telescopes, a few of them will be aimed at this object. Here's a photo of it. This is another globular cluster. You can see it's much more crowded with stars. It's also much closer than the one in Bootes that we just looked at. M13 is only about 25,000 light years away. Only in astronomy would we say something that far away is only that far. It has approximately 300,000 stars and may possibly be seen with the naked eye under very dark skies. It's an easy find in binoculars, though, and small telescopes, and it looks especially good in larger telescopes where you might be able to resolve some of the individual stars. I have a friend with an 18-inch telescope, and it looks especially good in that. And that's it for this week's Constellations.